Welcome back to the General Morgan Inn here in beautiful downtown Greenville as we're getting you ready for Derby Day on Maine and for Mother's Day. But let's talk about Derby Day first. And I want to introduce the folks that are with us here today. We have Alan, all you drag racing fans, Alan Johnson. He is here with his lovely wife, Pam. Thank you all for being here today. We have Tracy Dolis here as well and Jesse Boswell. And Jesse, we're going to start with you because Derby Day on Maine, we're going to be raising money for Second Harvest Food Bank. Let's talk about Derby Day on Maine. Break it down for us. Tell us more about it. Oh my gosh, we're going to be having so much fun stuff. Of course, we're going to air the Derby on a giant projector screen. We're also going to be having two bands perform. The Greenville Community Band is going to be playing before the Derby, and then we're going to have the third generation band playing after the Derby. We're also going to have so many hors d'oeuvres. Come hungry. We're going to be having Devils on a Horseback, which is going to be dates wrapped in bacon, mm. which is so good. We're also going to be having a chicken salad, um, deviled eggs. We're going to be having um, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, we're also have um, Robbie Britton's bringing his portable casino, which everything's going to go toward donation. Right. Uh, so you're really just trying to win for bragging. You're today. gambling, but you're not. Exactly, but it's going to be so much fun, and knowing that you're making a difference, I think, makes a huge difference. Right. And so, yeah. And of course, we've got Alan and Pam here. They're showing off their their Kentucky Derby finery here. You're wanting folks to get out, get dressed up just like you were going to Churchill Downs. Definitely, because there's going to be awards. We're going to have best dressed male oh. and female and couple. Um, so you could win a prize by being dressed really nicely. All right. And Tracy, all going to the Second Harvest Food Bank. And this, the need is great here. The need is very great. Did you know that one in four out of the children in Greene County and Greenville City is food insecure? That's a staggering amount. So everything raised here, the ticket sales and everything is going to Second Harvest? Correct, correct, through their backpack program. And talk to us about why y'all decided Second Harvest is the best. You know, you, you all really enjoy getting involved in the community. Tell us why you decided Second Harvest. Absolutely, because there's a 22% hunger rate. Right. That's staggering. And so through the backpack program, these kids get food for the weekend. And they also have a summer program right. where they feed the children. And we're showcasing just a few of the food items that Second Harvest packs up in the backpack program out, out front here. Yes, yes. So basically they have volunteers that pack this bag of food and it's distributed to the school system and then they put it in the backpack so the kids can take it home on Friday and they'll have extra food to eat over the weekend. All right. And Jesse, it is going to be such a fun event mm -hmm. for such a great cause. But tickets are available right now. You want to encourage folks, you need to get on board right now. Yes, go ahead and get your tickets. Tickets. If you go to our Facebook page or our website, GeneralMorganIn.com, um, scroll down to hotel events. There's a page that talks about everything that we're going to have, uh, how we're going to help the children, and there's links to purchase your church tickets right there. And, of course, the General Morgan Inn is going to be a fantastic place. You, you could stay the night. You could make it a weekend. That's right. Yeah, definitely come. The party's going to go a little bit later, and so we'll have a few rooms that are available for people to get so they can spend the night. Tickets uh, tickets are available, but you can also purchase a table as well. You can. If, uh, you know, if you have a group of friends that wants to get together, purchase a table, or if you're with a company that um, wants to support us, um, there are table sponsorships available as well. All right, so mm -hmm. put on your finest. Tracy, you want to encourage folks. I mean, look at Pam's hat. I mean, it's gorgeous. You know, it's gorgeous. You have a big hat back here. You said it was just too, yes. too, too magnificent to put on TV. But you want to encourage folks to come have some fun at this event, but also to help out those in need in our community. Absolutely. It's a great, it's a great community event. All right. Jesse, how can folks get tickets? Our website, generalmorganin.com slash derbydayonmain. Uh, there's a link right on our website to go ahead and purchase your tickets, and the money goes straight to the Second Harvest. All right. You know you're going to be watching the Kentucky Derby. You're going to see the run, run for the Roses at Churchill Downs and all that. If you can't make it to Kentucky, this is the next best place right here at the General Morgan Inn in downtown Greenville for Derby Day on Main. Pam, Alan, Tracy, Jesse, thank you so much. Folks, it is going to be a fun, fun event for a great cause. I encourage you to get Get your tickets right now for Derby Day on May.